All right, we all love our gimbals, but sometimes you just gotta kit them out a little bit. Today I'm gonna talk about what I think is the ultimate, ultimate setup for the DJI RS2 and the RS3. There's really no doubt that the DJI RS2 and the RS3 are incredible, incredible little pieces of technology. The form factor allows you to go so fast and get such incredible gimbal shots in such a small form factor that it really did revolutionize gimbal work is when it came out a couple years ago. Now, the small form factor of the RS2 and the RS3, while awesome, also presents some limiting challenges. And that really comes down to this. While I love the small form factor for running gun work when I've got to shoot fast, I've also found myself needing a gimbal all the time on much more higher end professional cinematic narrative and commercial work. And what happens is when you get in a situation where you have more than just yourself looking at the camera, you need to have a rig that you can put much more things on your camera. And that's where that single handed breakdown of the gimbal breaks down. Now, that being said, these gimbals are still such amazing pieces of technology. The motors can really handle so much weight on it that it kind of led me on a quest to create the ultimate gimbal that I could use in a real commercial production setting. When I had clients on set or producers on set, I had a video village, I needed some way to build this together. And what I want to do is just kind of go through all the parts that I created that made this beast and kind of show you what I think makes the ultimate rig. Okay, now the first thing we gotta look at for the skeleton of this incredible system is this. This is a Tilta Basic Ring Grip. Now, it comes in two models. It comes with the Basic Grip and the Advanced Grip. And I chose to go with the Basic Grip just because um, you can get all of this stuff added on by piecemeal. But the big thing is that the Basic Grip comes with two side handles. And really, for what I use, I never needed the other handle. So I could only buy one handle and it ended up saving me over $100 on the grip. So that's why I went with the Basic and added it on myself. Now, when you're looking at this ring grip, what's awesome about this is it's an incredibly well-engineered piece of technology. And I know Tilta and DJI are two different companies, but this really absolutely feels like there was, this was done together very, very cohesively between these two companies. I mean, this thing just works perfectly. And to kind of show you just how easy it is, this is the battery that comes with the RS2 and the RS3. You can literally just slip it in here and if I tighten it up, it instantly sends power down to my RS2. Check this out, I can pop it on, and as you can see, my RS2 pops right on without any problem. It, you don't even have to think about it, it's completely plug and play, and that for me is always a great sign of any piece of technology. The other thing I love about it, it's got tons of little power options, two on the top and two on the bottom, that lets you really have a lot of options if you wanna do stuff for it. And it's got these kick out feet here. So what I love is that this thing can just sit down, you can set it down, stand on the ground, which is always just a nice thing to have whenever you have a bigger system like that. Now, if I'm looking at peripherals that really make this thing up, because that's really the thing that kind of really takes it to the next level, is you gotta look at some of the peripherals that make this thing what it is. The first thing up here that I really love is this. This is the power supply module for the ring grip. And what I love about this is on the top, it's actually got two cold shoes that you can mount stuff, and it's got a quarter inch and a three eighths hole that have RE pin connectors on there, which is really awesome, and you'll see why in just a minute, but this really gives you a ton of options to go out there. And what's also awesome about this, it has a D-tap up here that lets you power monitors and everything like that. Now what's awesome about that is if you ever someone that's been used to running around with monitors on your gimbal, you no longer have to worry about the battery on the monitor. That is absolutely awesome. One less thing to think of. Everything is powered from the battery here. So your monitor and your gimbal all draw from the same power source, making your load quicker, faster, and ready to roll. I absolutely love that. And if you're like me and actually will end up powering more than just a gimbal, a monitor off of this, you can also get this. This is another thing that I consider very, very important. And that was this Zete four-in-one splitter that you can add on there. And I can just put that in my D-tap. And if I come to the back, now I have four D-taps available to me 
ready to go. So this is really, really awesome. I love this aspect. I'm gonna to touch on this a little bit more in a minute. So now as we come down on the side here, we're gonna look at another piece of equipment that I consider absolutely essential that really unlocks so much of what you can do with your gimbal. And that is this. This is the Tilter Remote Control Handle. And a couple things about this that I love. The first thing is just like this ring, it just works. You don't have to worry about it. You literally put that sucker in and it's going to work. No problems, it just works. You literally cut it on, and it's on, it's working. And there's a switch on the front that lets you choose between a DJI follow focus, or if you're someone out there that has a tilted nucleus or a nucleus M, you can actually use that as well. And it, and it communicates via Bluetooth, via this little connector right here that goes right into your side port on your DJI RS2 or RS3. And what I love is you cut it on and literally you can see, follow focusing, super easy. And it's got a remote control joystick on the back, which means that, and I do this all the time, I love being able to come up and doing pans, tilts, stuff like that. I use tilts all the time if I'm trying to do sort of fake uh, jib shots, I love that. And then you can also come back, there's a quick recenter button right there on the back. Super easy, it lets you control all the things that you're used to operating on the back of your Ronin, but it's right here in the grip and it gives you that two-handed control, which is so, so Awesome. Now, coming down from the ring, I would say this is something that I would consider a really awesome thing to really boost your, your gimbal game. And that is the Tilta V-mount battery plate that connects to this ring. And this ring is awesome. It's got these power ports all over it, so you can customize it in so many ways. And what you can do is not only does this ring utilize the battery from your RS2, but now you can take any kind of V-mount and slip it in there. This is the FX Lion Nano 2. It is a really, really great little V-mount. It's super small and light, I love it. But what I love it, I can put that in there and now I can power anything I hook up to this system. And remember I told you I put a four-way splitter on here and now all this stuff is being powered by my V-mount letting me get all day. I'm not having to worry about it. I'm not having to worry about switching out 10 different batteries for different things. I can literally power all my stuff from one source, which is a godsend. Okay, so now that I've talked about the tilt to ring grip, there are a couple of other peripherals that I think are very, very important. They don't have anything to do with this grip that are gonna really help you maximize your system. And this is one that I use no matter what I'm using, ring grip or samurai, and that is this. This is a small rig extended plate. Now I did a whole video on this extended plate, really diving down deep into it. I'll put a link up here for you to look at. Please check that out. But this extended plate is absolutely critical for me in maximizing bigger camera setups on my RS2 or the RS3. And the reason for that, it's just kind of a quick summary, is a couple of things. One, this extended plate gets rid of that Swiss Arca mount that has on there. And that is awesome because the Swiss Arca mount while it's great and fast for a lot of things, first off, I'm a Manfrotto guy. All my plates are Manfrotto. I don't like Swiss Arca because I don't like the little bit of space on these bigger cameras. And what I love about this extended plate from Small Rig is I can now take a Small Rig 577 quick release plate and put it on there and I can easily slip my camera off of my tripods and bam, slam it right there on to my rig super fast. The other thing I like about this rig is because the 577 locks in, I can literally quick release that in, put it in, go it, and I don't have to reset everything. Once I set this, I can pop it on and off and it falls in exactly the same every time. This is a godsend. I can't imagine using a gimbal without having this extended plate with the 577 quick release. The other thing I really, really love about the small rig extended plate is this. If you look at the front of the small rig extended plate, you'll see it's got these nice little ridges here. And what's great about that is that allows you to use a small rig focus motor rod mount. And what I love about this, I'll take this off just so you can see, is it literally, this is the focus motor, it slips right here on it, super easy, and you can just slide it back to where it needs to be, and it clicks right in, it's super nice, and you get a ton of ability to adjust and move this thing in and out. Really, really great way to get a focus motor on there very, very fast. Much, much better than the system, I think, personally, that comes with DJI. I really love this whole system. The small rig extended plate is an amazing thing 
I, I just think it's not even a question. If you are looking at working any kind of bigger camera gear or anything on your gear, consider getting this because it'll make your life a lot better and you won't be stuck with that super small surface area you get that can, can sometimes lead to micro jitters on the RS2 and cameras like the C300 that I've experienced. Now, another thing that I think is really important too is honestly, these cameras are heavy and you do push it out and that leads us to the need to get counterweights. Now, I actually got two counterweight systems that I found out helped me out a lot. The first one was the DJI Axis Counterweight. And what's great about this is this actually attaches right here to the side of my gimbal. And it's just awesome because it has my weight spread out so much. So I'm not maxing that arm out a lot. I love that. And then on the back side, I also got these small rig counterweights that I can slip underneath of my plate that lets me balance my camera out a lot easier. And I found that you know, without these counterweights, especially when I was getting bigger rigs on here, like C300s, like the Red Komodo, even the Canon R5C sometimes, I was pushing the gimbal all the way to the limit as far as it could go. These counterweights let me get my gimbal set up in a much, much more, uh, it, I don't feel like I'm stressing the system as much because I don't have to push everything to its extreme to get it, and it made it so much easier to balance and do. So getting counterweights is just one of those things. It gives you so much flexibility and so much freedom when you're setting up your gimbal. I would highly recommend getting them because they're just so nice to have. And now that we've kind of covered this kind of base build here for the thing, I wanna start talking about a couple peripherals that I will always have. The first one is going to be a monitor. Now I did talk about this plate here for the Tilta, and really what I wanna look at is how I attach a monitor. Now this does have two cold shoe plates and a screw hole for both a quarter and a uh, three eighths. And what I have here is I have a small rig swivel and tilt monitor mount with an airy style mount to it. And what I love about that is I can just sit there and pull that right in right here, I get it, and it's so on there. And I kind of modified this in one other way, and I put a Falcam F22 quick release. And what I love about that is I can take my monitor, and as you can see here, I have a quick release plate, and I can literally just slip it on, it's that fast. If I want to take it off, boom, I slip it right off. I have a couple of these around. What I can do, if I'm on a tripod, if I'm on a set, I can pop it off there, literally pop it on, put it on there, pop it off, ready to roll, I'm ready to jump from gimbal, to handheld, to tripod, to you name it, super quick. I really, really love that. And so I put that on there. Now the monitor that I found worked pretty well for the Red Komodo in this specific instance is the Portkey's BM53. And really the main reason why this one works well in this specific situation, it's just because I can wirelessly control my Red Komodo, which just makes it a little bit nicer when I'm running around on a set. So I do like that. And because I do have this thing uh, set up, what I love about it is I can take my T-tap right here, I can plug it right in, I can put it right here in the back, and boom, now I have power to my monitor. And as you can see, I don't have to deal with any bulky Sony batteries. Everything's nice and sleek, very, very easy, very, very nice to go. And that's really a nice way to kind of go. Now, one of the things you can see here is if you look around is I did have a Ronin 1, and on my Ronin 1, I did have 30 millimeter rod clamps, which are super, super helpful. And now what's great about these is these clamp onto your system and they have a 3 8 and a quarter inch hole on the top of the thing. And you can literally just put them wherever, you can literally put them anywhere you need and tighten them up. And it just gives you a great place to put support and base wherever you want it on your gimbal setup. Now that being said, these are old DJI Type A 30 millimeter rod clamps. Um, I believe nowadays Canvay makes some models now. I'll put a link down, uh, down below. That should give you some idea to do it, but I love the flexibility of this because I can put wireless follow focus on here. I can put my wireless monitors. I can hook anything I need on there. It stays out of the way. I can shift them wherever. I need. And now that I have these on there, that leads me to what I consider the final piece de resistance that makes the ultimate gimbal gear. And that really comes down to this. When I'm shooting with a gimbal, heck, when I'm shooting, period, I wanna be focusing on my shot. I wanna be focusing on getting it right. 
I don't wanna be focusing on being tired and trying not to burn my arms out. And anytime you add stuff like this, if you have a wireless video for the producers or village tent or just clients to look at, you're gonna start adding weight and that starts to make you tired. And what you wanna do is you want something that allows you to operate this gimbal without worrying about the weight. Now, because of all that, you need to get a support system. It is absolutely no debate whether or not you need this. If you're walking around with any kind of gimbal system and any kind of professional camera system, you're gonna want a support system that lets you focus on your shot and not be worried about burning your arms out. And there are two major ones that you can look at. That's the Ready Rig and the Easy Rig. Now I happen to have both of them and I've actually set my ultimate rig up where I can use both of them. And really I'm not gonna get into the details of the Ready Rig versus the Easy Rig because they're different systems, they do different things. I've actually done some videos, I'll put a link up here comparing them to one or the other, but both of those systems really are fantastic in letting you shoot all day long. Now, if you look at how I've rigged this up, this right here is a easy rig, quick release handle that I have. I got the quick release for my Easy Rig Mini Max Stabilite. That is an absolutely fantastic stabilizer. It actually has a bit of a fourth axis stabilization that allows you to smooth out that fourth axis on our shots. I absolutely love it. And then on here, in addition to this, I have my Ready Rig uh, handles as well. Now, Cinemo makes a 30 millimeter rod adapter for DJI that is unbelievably expensive. I actually found these are Hantu. I got it off Alibaba. Uh, that was literally half the price and does the exact same thing. I've used them on dozens of shoots. They work great too, and I love it. So if you look right here, I can get these, I can hook up my ready rig, or if I want to, I can hook up my easy rig. And the great thing about that is both an easy rig and a ready rig, whichever one you get, it lets you, you can literally wear this for hours straight. I have, no pun intended, put a gimbal on, fully kitted out like this and worn it for two and a half hours straight without having to put it down because it transfers the weight to your hips and lets you just go and roll on the day. It is absolutely something that is an amazing, amazing thing to have. Everyone should get one to make sure they have it. So there you go, guys. That's basically my system. I mean, I know we add a lot to the base here of the RS2, RS3, but I think these are the things that really allow you to take your game and transfer it to the next level, especially if you're doing professional, commercial, and narrative work. This lets you shoot, this lets you focus on the story, on the shot, and not worry about mechanical or physical limitations that you might have in the current setup of the RS2 and really unlock all the incredible things that the motors and the stabilization of this gimbal can do all the way. Anyway guys, I'd love to hear what you have to say about this. Please leave me any comments down below. And if you wanna see any uh, notes about anything else out there, just let me know. I'd be happy to go out there and make something for you. Anyway guys, go out there, keep on shooting, and uh, yeah, I'll talk to you soon.